All right, so we're back with yet another video. So I want to show you how we can actually use the other uh, command option types, such as uh, user channel and uh, some of these other ones. But I'm not really too familiar with what these other ones are, but we'll definitely look, look at user and channel. So let's go ahead and create another command. I'll just create a new one. I'll call this user.js, and I'll copy and paste rules command. I'll just call this users command. And what I'll do is I'll set the name to users and then users command. And instead of add role option, it'll just be add user option. Okay. And uh, I think all I'll just do is the same thing. We will set the name user description user. And I will not uh put any capitalizations or spaces for now okay so let's go ahead and import the users command from user user.js let's go ahead go ahead and uh add that import a variable down here in our array and let's check our log just to make sure everything is okay seems like everything is okay we just have to wait for the bot to log in well, yeah, with users, uh, this pretty much allows you to select the users in the slash command. So watch this. So if I go to uh, coffee bot commands, you can see it says user over here. And you can see that one of the options is user, right? And we can select a bunch of members. So you obviously right now our server only has three, uh, three members. That's coffee bot, myself, and hello world bot. But I can go ahead and select, you know, uh, whatever right so i'll select this i'll select this one over here and i would send it to the server and it would do something okay now obviously it's going to throw an error because like i said uh it's assuming well not assuming but all of the interactions that are being triggered right now they're uh they're all like it's still working with the old command that we created for the order command so that's why it's not working but you can see that we're able to select the users right so we can do certain things when we select users, for example, if I wanted to create a slash command to, you know, select a certain user and I can go ahead and get the data of that user and I can do whatever I want, basically. OK, so, uh, yeah, that's hopefully a good example of how you can understand how to select members. Right. So, so far, I've shown you how to select roles, how to select members. I've shown you how to uh, work with strings and predefined uh, choices. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly uh, create another command and we'll do one for channel. So let's do channel.js. And again, like I said, I'll just copy and paste the same code because it's really all just the same thing. It's just the logic that you're going to go ahead and implement is going to obviously be different. And you're going to have to do that inside the interaction create event handler. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Whoops, I'm not sure it's going to here. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and reference channels command. And then we will import that down over here. Channels command, channel.js. This should be pretty straightforward because it's really just redundant at this point. Hopefully you all understand what's going on. So let's just give it a little bit. Just wait for it. Gonna take a little bit but that's fine but uh yeah so we've covered string uh integer should just really just be number uh and i guess number itself is just like a double so float like floating point values like you know 1.0 1.1 1 .1. all right so the bot is finally logged in let's go ahead and try this out so we have channels and you can see now i select the option uh let's see why is it did I accidentally, did I forget to change? Yeah, I, I still have it as add user option. Let's do add channel option. There we go. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, so now this should be fixed. So let's do channels, channels. And now we can select the channel. So I can do general, text channels, which is the category channel, voice channels, general. Okay. And again, like I said, like you can use this to perform some, some certain action. Right, it just gives you the opportunity to create uh, simple and foolproof 
command so that way the user let's say for example if you're creating a channel if you're creating a command that the user needs to uh you know select the channel itself so you can just do it like this instead of having to you know right click the channel name copy the id and pass in the id and then your code has to manage it yourself everything is just done very simply just like this okay so let's go ahead and do a couple more examples and then i think i'll let you all uh i'll, I'll let you all figure out some of the other ones yourself but like i said there's integer there's boolean i'm just going to go ahead and just add them right over here so let's go ahead and add a boolean option right over here and we'll do option not set name whoops set name and we'll just call this uh delete messages just just like a pretend pretend option for now set the description delete the messages and then we can go ahead and uh set required to true and I'll also do the same thing for this option as well and so let's go let's just go ahead and see how this modifies it so we're adding a boolean option and with boolean options it's just pretty much straightforward it the, the value has to be either true or false it can't be anything else so hopefully that's pretty uh, obvious because it's a boolean integers you can add in whatever number you want all right so the bot finally logged in and let's go ahead and go to our channels you can see that we have the channel so let's select the channel and over here you can see delete messages it just shows true false nothing else right you can type f for false okay and then hit enter and then you're done and then you just have to handle that slash command inside the uh event handler for the interaction create event so that's pretty straightforward for boolean option let's go ahead and add uh, integer option and this is just going to be for integers right so if you're creating a command that requires the user to enter stuff like their age let's say the month that they were born you'd probably want to use something like this because it's good for integers and let's just go ahead and say age it's description enter your age and now let's go oh, let's just leave the set required option alone for now and Let's go ahead and test this out. So let's do slash channels. You can see that it says one is optional. So that's the age. And you can see that let's select this. And if I try to type in a string, it's going to say input a valid integer, right? So I got to actually provide an actual proper number. So let's do 50. Okay, and that's pretty straightforward. Now let me try this again. Uh, so let's channel true and let's do age if i try to do 55.0 i think this would still work uh though i think though i think it'll truncate the point zero so you'd have to use the actual number option instead okay now uh the other one should be pretty uh self-explanatory for example mentionable would include all users and roles basically anything that could be mentioned i'm not sure if it'll include channels though um I think uh, I think attachment is I'm not sure what attachment is to be honest with you, but I think it allows you to actually I think yeah I think it allows you to actually attach a file. So if I were to try that right now, so name file description file. Let's see. I think yeah I'm pretty sure it'll it'll prompt you for a file. So let's do channels. Hello hello file and there you go yeah see now it's going to say drag and drop or click to upload a file and if i clicked on it it'll open up my file explorer and then i can just select whatever file i want and you could use this to send the file to uh you know to you, you could use to send the file and then on the uh, server side you can handle it on your own on the bot side so yeah that's pretty much it like everything else is pretty pretty straightforward okay so i just wanted to make a quick video to show you all how you can actually um work with different command option types we've pretty much went over uh, all of them except for mentionable and the subcommand. i'll actually make a di different video for the subcommand ones because i think they do deserve their own video but mentionable should be very straightforward it's just roles and users okay um so that's going to be pretty much it. hopefully you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace out